What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. Today I'm doing something I've never done before and that is doing a redesign for another big YouTuber in my niche and that is Kyle Cook of Web Dev Simplified. You've probably came across his channel if you're interested in anything related to front end development and he has 355,000 subscribers, probably doing something right. And I, I approached him in our ultra super secret Discord hangout for you know big YouTubers that you're not invited to unless you're a YouTuber, of course. Uh, and I said, hey, I noticed that you just launched your JavaScript Simplify course in your website, your landing page for it. I'd like to see if I can maybe make some improvements and then that way your subscribers and my subscribers would be able to see how would, I would make adjustments. And he said, yes, I'm not a designer. This is something he threw together, I think with Tailwind. Um, and I was able to come up, I, and you're gonna see in this video, which is what this video is about, a design refactor for it that I think is you know, quite a bit better, uh, but I do still think he did a great job. Uh, but it, this is just to show, you know, small changes can make big differences overall. So I uh, definitely check out javascriptsimplified.com. He just released this course on obviously becoming a JavaScript developer. I uh, go ahead, read through all of it, and also give him uh, his channel a checkout as as well. Uh, very good guy, good teacher, and as always. Let's get started and make sure to subscribe. Now, before we begin, some of you may not know, but early in the year, I released a UI design bootcamp on Scrimba. Now, Scrimba.com is one of the hottest new ways to learn coding as well as design. At Scrimba, you don't just watch videos. No, no, no. You're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn. My course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So visit the very first line in the description of this YouTube video to access my course along with many others for a very low monthly fee. All right, so I have the design here. This is just a screenshot of it here in Adobe XD. and. I have a blank artboard here. Now I'm not gonna design everything from absolute scratch. I'm just gonna kind of copy uh, and paste uh, the changes that I made. That way we can make this a lot quicker than you see me. You know, otherwise it'd be like 40 minutes long. Um, but I will describe all of my decisions. So um, the first part right here, so the, the, the hero section as it's called, uh, there's no navigation because it's a very simple, you know, very single purpose focused sort of landing page, which is perfectly fine. In fact, this is ideal uh, when you're trying to sell a single product because it doesn't give them the ability to exit in, into different areas that are just unnecessary. Um, so what we have here is, you know, your traditional, you know, headline, you have a sub headline and then a description and a call to action. Uh, in and of itself, this whole area, I actually like. Um, there's good separation in terms of visual hierarchy between the type. Um, and the one part though, when we have this area, it just seems like there's a disconnect. It's a little bit inconsistent. There's, a, there's issues with alignment. Um, and I say that because this block here, if you tried to stick it in its own uh, like its own column, like a 50% column, and then you stick this over here as it stands in a 50% column, it's just not gonna work. There's not enough space available. Um, so I, I assume that's why he may have made this decision to kind of go like this diagonal approach. But as you can see for each one of these elements right here, these little, it's basically somebody's expressing a pain point and then he's giving a response. Um, for each one of these, there's kind of like a column defined here, a column defined here, a column defined here, there's a column defined here. So it's kind of just spread out and it's a little bit wonky. We have, uh, you know, decent sizes of white space here and here. So there's just a disconnect in the alignment. So um, the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna stick with the actual background color that he has here. Um, and we're gonna focus just on this area. So because there's not enough space really to, as it stands to kind of stick it into a 50-50 layout, what I'm going to do is the old, it's a very trusted, tried and true to approach. And that is simply to do this over here. All right, so right here, we have these three type based elements. And I notice I didn't really change that much. I'm using the same fonts, I'm using the same colors, uh, but, I did decide to kind of um, wrap this in its little container, a little like a tag container. Now this is something that is completely subjective. You know, we could have went with that, 
but I kind of just liked it because it it just I uh, kind of creates a little block in and of itself, a little design element, if you will. But it is a subjective um, take on it. It's not objectively better or worse or whatever. Um, and I also decided to put JavaScript developer on its own line as well, because it, then it really makes it like, kind of stand out um, rather than just kind of putting it off to the side here. Also, I didn't underline it. I don't think that was really necessary. Again, that's kind of like a subjective uh, preference right there as well. And so also um, my call to action button just looks like that. So his call to action was very solid, um, stands out very well, nothing wrong there at all. Um, but notice the alignment here, that's the, that's the key takeaway. I'm simply centering everything. Um, that way, because it is a single purpose landing page, I, you know, you're, it's very easy to scan and read. It's not kind of tucked up away and hidden off to the left, if you will. So um, then we have these parts right here, these little um, question or pain points slash responses. I, I, I just think it was a little bit confusing to me. I didn't even realize that, that what was happening, um, these were his response. I thought these might be like six different quotes or something or testimonials. I, upon further inspection, I had to get in there and really see what was happening. And it's actually Kyle Cook responding to all these people. So I thought it would make sense to kind of um, make that more obvious. So I, I did redesign this part quite a bit. So I'm going to paste in what I did instead. So now we can't see it, at least his response, because I decided to also put in a container behind it. So I'm gonna take this container and just put it right there. And this is what I came up with. So we have the person's avatar. We have, you know, JavaScript is so hard. There's just too much to know. <laughs> and then you have his response um, down here. And I made the obvious uh, by creating an, a, a literal, you know, dotted line coming from them, kind of like a subset design that you, you might see like in a form thread type of view or whatever. Um, and it makes it a little bit more obvious in my opinion that uh, this is his response and these are just quotes. Thus, they're designed quite a bit differently. Um, and I decided to raise this one up a little bit higher from the others. Again, that's a, a subjective preference. Um, I like the way it kind of was breaking out. I was gonna do like this initially, which is fine. But I kind of like the design element of it kind of breaking outside of, of this container, so to speak. And so this, this color, of course, is the same color we're using here. So we're, we're being sure to use our, our colors quite well. So this is a big difference here, going from here to here. It just has a lot more flow and structure to it, in my opinion. Um, so next up, we have this area right here, which is a quote. And this is actually pretty cool. Um, this right here is a, uh, let me show you to, to you live in the browser actually, javascriptsimplified.com, javascript, there we go. So it's a, it's an, uh, a console that's you know, literally animating in. Um, and so I decided to keep that and I, I kept this. In fact, I kept the same 50-50 split, but I just you know, styled it slightly differently. So for this one, um, I decided to have this container now this right here, what I originally had was, it was just gonna be this container uh, color, but I decided to just get in the same hue and then just crank it up slightly just to create a subtle difference between the two sections of content. And you can do that, you know, that's a standard practice. Um, again, you could have gone the same, I could have gone the same color here and just stuck those two elements here. That's completely fine. Um, but I, I did like creating the, the difference in view right here. So um, for this one, I decided to, let me go ahead, I'm gonna copy the elements I need here. Yeah, so I decided to um, position this right here. I, initially, again, I was gonna have it right here, but then I thought, you know what, let's stick with the theme of like kind of breaking outside of elements. And I just kind of slightly raised it into the other container. So I like that a lot. Um, the actual type, which is the quote next to it, right here. So again, if we compare these two parts, he did he did a good job. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this this section in and of itself. 
And then finally, we have this part. Now this part, it did change up quite a bit. This is, um, if we look at the live page, you'll see this is actually a pretty long, you know, sales page, although I've seen much longer for this type of uh, thing, these types of courses. Um, but the rest of it is just, you know, it's very simple. You can't go wrong, a single column, um, and it's at a certain width. It's not too wide, um, just going down here. And of course, he's used um, good use of, 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 of titles, headlines, bolding things, and it all looks, you know, it, it all works. But I do like, when possible, to give things more of a structured layout, if it makes sense. So this is one example of that. So, hey, I'm Kyle Cook. For me, I thought that would be a great way just to have like a, a headline. So here's what I did for that. So, hey, I'm Kyle Cook. I decided to make that a headline. Um, and then the rest of the text I make into their own paragraphs. I decided to add like a little, you know, a trendy sort of border, which is a kind of, you know, something we've seen for several years now. Um, again, you don't have to have it. And it's actually the green color right here. So when you can reuse the same colors that, you know, are featured throughout your, your UI design, and it'll create more consistency. Um, so for the actual type, I decided to do this. So I put it into a 50-50 column. Um, and this is the same exact type as here. You may know me from Web Dev Simplify, blah, 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 blah. Um, very simple, it works. And mind you, I'm keeping everything on the same guide here. Everything's aligned as it should be. Uh, and this is very important because if you don't have this, it's gonna throw off your design is going to make it look amateur. Now we do have the issue of, of a blank space here, em empty white space. So we can fill this with something. So we need something that's relevant, like, hey, I'm Kyle Cook. How about a picture of actual Kyle Cook? So the first thing I did is I I got just a simple, you know, circular avatar sort of thing. I, this is some random picture I was able to find of him on Google. And this in and of itself is fine, but it's also nice sometimes to integrate design elements or graphic design elements in your UI design. So we see this sort of thing often. Um, we could either keep it on top or we could push it underneath. Doesn't really matter. And I decided to also add another one of those trendy graphic design elements right here. All right, and actually I think what I wanted to do is change it to this red. I think it works better. There we go. And so now we have Hey, I'm Kyle Cook. Here's a picture of Kyle Cook because that, it, it makes sense to connect a face with an, um, the, the actual verbiage or the, the title here. Um, and then the rest would just go on. So um, let's go do a quick before and after. So this is the before. And of course, this here is the after. All right. So that is it. Um, obviously, I didn't have enough time to like redesign the entire thing, but hopefully, um, if you're somebody who you know is interested in a design and you took a look at this design and you're curious as to like how exactly would I make this better or what is wrong, what could be improved, hopefully this walkthrough from one guy's opinion helped you um, see you know how you can make some objectively good design decisions in order to improve in ex upon an existing design. So uh, definitely check out javascriptsimplified.com. Uh, check out the course here. I, I'm not a JavaScript expert, so I don't ever see myself launching a competing JavaScript uh, course. So definitely check this out um, at javascriptsimplified.com. Um, Kyle knew that I was going to be doing this, so he was completely fine with me, you know, deconstructing his design. He's, he did do this himself, which is pretty impressive for somebody who doesn't consider themselves a designer. Um, so anyhow, yeah, I have to get going. I am closing on a house today. We're going to be spending a lot of money. My bank account's going to go from like up here down to here after that closing cost and the down payment. Anyhow, I digress. I'll talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.